All right, uh, good afternoon. This video documentation is with regards to the uh, cutoff uh, kind of concern that you had. I do understand that you uh, you mentioned and actually provided some photos showing that there's uh, two divots in the cutoff line uh, for your particular model. So what we've gone ahead and done is actually pulled out a, a brand new set of headlights right here. We've got the passenger right side right here. And we're actually projecting the low beam uh, against the wall right there with standard halogen bulb. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do right now is actually change the shape of the, out, uh, the output and the cutoff right there simply through the position of the bulb. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this slightly. As you can see, these divots start to pop up right there. Gonna readjust it, straighten out the beam, and again, move it and it, uh, the divots do appear again right there. Now, to touch base on this and the whole phenomenon kind of uh, that's causing this, this is actually uh, related to bulb adjustment, which is actually very important because the hot spot needs to be the particular point in the projector in order for the, uh, you know, for the low beam cutoff to be correct. Now, this is actually done, you can gently move it right here, this isn't fully secured down, but essentially the principle here is that the bulb needs to be in a very specific position in order for optimal light output. If it's outside of this position, you can get all kinds of weird, uh, uh, you know, cutoff issues. Uh, currently right here, what you're seeing is the divot kind of coming in right there and just kind of a, uh, the hot spot for the bulb is actually a bit higher than what it should be. So you're not getting the full uh, use of the bulb as, as designed with the projector. Now, uh, we do have some resources and there are actually some resources online uh, regarding how to resolve this. Essentially, a lot of times it's just kind of playing with the bulb. I do uh, know that you mentioned that you had already done so. In that case, if you're still unable to get it to the proper position, it may be necessary to add shims. Uh, I do remember that you mentioned that you are using uh, the, uh, the the aftermarket uh, adapter that you had purchased for the H7, so perhaps that might be a bit off. Maybe that just needs a bit of tweaking, but if not, uh, shims can definitely resolve this for you. So I just wanted to give you this information just to let you know kind of what the steps would be to resolve this issue and to really get the kind of bulb output that you're looking for and the cutoff line you're looking for as well. So this concludes the video documentation. I'll be providing further information to your email uh, and kind of sort the rest of it out for you. Thank you so much.